What's up guys, Garden Graft and we are back and uh so yeah, another episode of Minecraft Zoo. So anyway, today we are doing the Meerkat and uh this area I'm pretty sure should finish off the uh the desert areas because we have the camels over there, and I'm pretty sure camels and meerkats kind of like the only two desert animals. I don't think meerkats are really a full-on desert animal, though. It's kind of more like, uh, kind of about like ostriches almost, but a little bit more sandy than that. I don't really know. I watched this one documentary like years ago, but I can't even remember most of it. But, uh, so yeah, I thought that like maybe like right back here might be a good spot to build it, like behind the bison exhibit. And, uh, here's what I've been thinking. So, I don't really like how, like, gigantic these walls are, and they kind of stick out of the terrain. So, what I've been thinking is I can, like, build up some, uh, walls right back here that look more, like, maybe like a mountain or something back here. And, uh, yeah, I think that might make it get covered up a little bit better and make it look, a, like, better. And I did some terraforming over here. Or, yeah, terraform. I don't really know, but, uh... So, uh, yeah, pretty much I filled this entire area in over here just to kind of prepare for later on. I think first we need to go ahead and just try to start terraforming the back wall right here. And, uh, so, uh, first, uh, actually first we gotta go ahead and dig this down some. So I wanna dig this down. This exhibit needs to probably go down by about three blocks because, uh, I mean, we still, like, two blocks does seem deep enough. It's just that we still have to add in the slabs and all the decorations. So three blocks would probably... Make it a little bit safer just to make sure they don't jump out or anything like that. But uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and dig this out really fast. And uh, try to get a little bit of this uh, wall right here done. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. After uh, seeing how good this came out, uh, I kind of wish I time lapsed it. But I didn't because I wasn't recording because I felt like this wouldn't be this much of a thing. But uh, yeah. I literally just did half, like, pretty much, like, a half, two-thirds of the exhibit that would have took that long off camera. Because I figured, like, you know, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But apparently I made it a way bigger deal, deal than I thought it would be. So, uh, yeah, I kind of looped it around here, to be honest with you, though. If I keep on that pattern all the way to back there, I do think that's going to make this exhibit look a little bit better. And then I might also try to make it lean over to here so that way it still looks more natural and less of that just terracotta right there. So I might loop it over it and just, you know, leave the barricade or the stone little parts up there. But, uh, so anyway, without further ado, it's time to just go ahead and get started. But, uh, so, actually, I should have been terraforming as well, but, uh, stupid me didn't just didn't think about doing that. But here's the thing, now I'm afraid that I'm gonna get carried away and this terraform is gonna be a lot bigger of a job than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I just worked that. There we go. I'm just going to hold it on to that just in case. But I'm afraid now that this terraforming might be a way bigger thing than I was thinking it's going to be. And then this, to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure this video is going to be really short. Like, sh not really short, but like, shorter than most of them. Because, I mean, literally, that, there was like, this exhibit is not very big, as you can tell. And, I mean, it's pretty simple, too. Like, there's not that much stuff we can add in, or... You know, but uh, so let me just go ahead and terraform this really fast and hopefully I don't skip over too much. Alright, so uh, after a little bit more work and uh, yeah, to be honest, I think this, I think I nailed the ground pretty decently. I wish I was in Java Edition because uh, then I could use the um, edit wand and uh, get the grass to change color. I did look up the command, I did try to use it and you cannot use it in Bedrock uh, as far as I know. So uh, yeah, it kind of sucks because I would change this grass to more of a savanna color, but uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta deal with what you can get, and I think I did a pretty good job with that. But uh, so anyway, it's time to go ahead and move on and start working on the uh, water source. So uh, for the water source, uh, it's just gonna be uh pretty much your average normal water source. I'm gonna try to make it probably right over here, maybe a little, probably yeah a little bit more over to here. But, uh, yeah, I think it does make a nice little mini water source, because I don't really want to make it a full-on block. There's no point in making it a full-on block, considering that these, these meerkats are pretty small. But, uh, I don't know if that's it, or if I should just try to add in another one. But, these guys aren't that big, so I don't feel like they're going to need another one. So, I'll just put that back up there, and, uh, I might need to hold on to that, but I can clear the rest of that. And, I do not believe I need that. But, uh, so, first we gotta go ahead and start getting in the trees. So, the trees, obviously, are not gonna be really that big. They're just gonna be kind of, kind of more or less something along the lines of this right here. 
And I'm just going to take some acacia leaves and just kind of do small little acacia trees pretty much. Like acacia, like acacia trees still in the progress of growing. Kind of more like, not really saplings I wouldn't call them, but uh, kind of like uh, 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 teenage trees, toddler trees. I don't know. One or the other, but I only, th I only think like maybe two of these should be good because these things do take up a little bit of space. So I think only about two of these should be fine. So we'll get the other one, uh, maybe not on the sand actually, but uh, we'll get this one right over here. And there we go. I'd say like, there are some pretty decent savanna mini savanna trees because uh, you know I'm not trying to go for full size here. But now we can go ahead and get the rest of the stuff out. I do not believe I'm money that. I do not believe I'm money that or that. And actually, I do need my water bucket back out because I accidentally threw it away. So let's go and do that. All right. So now what we need to go ahead and do is try to get some little logs in here because you know these guys right here. They, might, they like to be. They like to scurry around and all that. Maybe like hide behind a few things. So it might be helpful if we get a few logs in here. So some about like that there. And uh, we'll get like one more. Uh, we'll just put it like right over here. So there we go, we got some little logs, don't really need any extra logs, because then it's going to kind of make it a little bit too big. But uh, then I actually might need some smooth sandstone to try and make a little bit more bumps over here. Because it's kind of like their home or something like that, you know, like how they how they have like these little like holes in the ground. But I don't really know how I could do that without, you know, like tearing apart the ground and making it to where they don't have that much space. So we're just going to kind of leave it as it is and just, you know, they can just kind of be land meerkats. They don't go underground. Because that's overrated anyway. So a little bit of that. Uh, that one right there is a little bit risky. Because I don't know if they could really clip that right there. Yeah, they could. I don't like taking risk like that. You know, I'm not very, I'm not a very big risk, risk taker. So, you know, we'll just kind of do a few of these over here. And, uh, oh yeah, I do need the bone meal. But uh, now we'll go ahead and get these dead bushes in here. Just kind of spread them out on the, uh, on the, uh, po uh not on puzzle, uh, the coarser and the sand. Just kind of a little bit of a mixture between both and uh so some about like this right here and uh so yeah now we're pretty much done with that and uh then uh, we can get some ferns going on over here just kind of get some extra little bit of green and grass and all that so there we go we got a pretty good flower not flower i'm stupid but pretty good plant diversity going on here so now we can go ahead and try and get some of these flowers in here to uh, you know add a little bit of sparks of color and uh let's go ahead and get these meerkats in here so uh and put one down right here. These guys are a little bit bigger than what I was really expecting. And a little bit more rounder too, no offense, but uh they are a little bit more plumpy. But uh Oh, I thought that rock was his tail and I was like, dang, these things became beavers. But uh yeah, let's go ahead and get another one in here. We're gonna need at least three, I know for a fact. I'm thinking five. Five might be pretty good because these guys are actually like you know these guys right here are used to living in big groups and all that. Uh, let's go ahead and go for five, but I don't want to go for six. I feel like six is definitely gonna overdo it, but I feel like five is pretty much spot on amount that we kind of really need. Yeah, this right here was the um, exhibit right here for the uh, I literally already forgot their names. Meerkats, that's it. Okay, yeah, I'm getting kind of dumb, but uh. So, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.